What's up guys, this is One UX One and the question today is AI. Will AI take over your UX career dream or your long-term UX research or design goals? So, artificial intelligence is getting smarter as we all know and we also know that it's good at one thing, it's good at capturing data. So it's good at capturing insights from your social media, from your purchasing history, from your chats and any sort of usage of your devices so any applications you use any websites you use it can track your behavior but does it have consciousness that's something that even scientists agree that that's far off and i don't think it will ever happen so unless there's consciousness it cannot take over ux design user experience whether that's analyzing it measuring it or designing it because the whole purpose of user experience design is to build human-centered experiences and only humans can build human-centered experiences. So as far as your concern goes about AI taking over this job or this career, I can't see that happening. Now that's not to say that AI will not be helpful or will not improve user experience, especially when it comes to analytics and some aspects of collecting data in terms of surveys, but actually in the UX design process and UX research process, you have to interview people face to face, whether that's remotely or whether that's fa face to face in the physical environment. And when you're doing that, you need to not only just write down what they're saying, but you also normally have three people in an interview. So when it comes to gathering user research, which is essential part of UX design and UX research as a process, the interviewers so you normally have one person who's going to ask the questions and has the script and the other two people they'll be measuring reactions and cues like body language were they frustrated were they happy when they're using this new product or feature in your design so in the prototype when they, you're testing it you want to see not just what they say but how they feel what their emotions and that cannot be captured by ai so and the question comes about, people ask this question because they're worried about joining this new career and thinking, well, what's the point of starting a career in UX design or UX research if it's going to end and robots and computers, uh, technology from AI is going to take over everything. But my response to that is, well, AI, if it's going to take over UX, is going to take over everything. So there'd be no point of working or doing anything because AI will take over. So if we have that mindset, we're not going to get anything done. And also in the IT space, information technology, design, websites, apps, UX would be the last one to go even if AI had advanced to a level where it starts to take some of our work because it's all empathy. Human empathy can only be built and understood by human beings and consciousness. So for example, AI could tell you something like, um, are you waiting long for your call? So let's say you're on a call waiting, you're trying to get through to a company and you're just waiting a very long time. It can tell you and say, sorry for having to wait. But does it feel that you're frustrated that you've been waiting? It can't do that. And that's what humans do. So human centered design is going to be with us. So AI is not the worry. The thing is, it's about using technology to improve our processes. So a lot of these great apps from UserZoom, UserTesting.com, Qualtrics, all these apps that we use for user research and then Figma and Sketch, all the wireframing tools, they help us and that's what we really need. So don't worry too much about jobs being taken over. Worry more about the goal of getting to this career because as far as I'm concerned, the next few decades, you have nothing to worry about. And most of our careers are going to be a few decades if we're lucky. So there's no concern there. What you can do if you want to really understand how UX design works is download my free guide and also the free taster courses, which are coming soon with the links below. So sign up for those and don't forget to subscribe as well. So you can get to really capture all that knowledge that you need. And I'm here to support you to get to your goal of becoming UX designer or UX researcher. Now, when we're using these technologies, these apps, this software, what we want to understand is 
that they are only aids to what we're trying to achieve and that is to listen to people ourselves and really be mindful at the time. This is why we say when we interview someone to get their feedback on user experience, we ask a question and then we wait five seconds to actually respond to their response or to ask another question because in those five seconds we need to listen carefully and think about what they said and that helps build the empathy in design. I hope that was helpful guys and I'll see you on the next one. This is One UX One.